Post June 6 here at Belmont Park, and I'm with Todd Fletcher, the all-time leading money-earning trainer, and also a two-time winner of the Belmont Stakes. Todd, you've got two horses going tomorrow. Just uh, first of all, analyze both, uh, Commissioner and Matterhorn, and tell us what needs to happen for you to be in the winner's circle again. Well, we're going to need uh, need some luck like uh, everyone else, but uh, the, the reason we're running both of these horses, we've always felt like a mile and a half is going to suit them very well. In Commissioner's case, he's a son of AP Indy out of a touch gold mare, both of whom won the, won the Belmont Stakes, and we've always felt like his running style and his pedigrees would, uh, would the Belmont would be the best race for him. So he had a quality second in the Peter Pan, which oftentimes has been a good prep race for the Belmont, and we're excited about uh, getting him stretched out to a mile and a half. Matterhorn's case, he's also a big galloping sword that ran a respectable fourth in the, in the Peter Pan, and we felt like a mile and a half would suit him well. So. You know, we need, uh, we need both of them to run the race, races of their lives, and uh, at the same time, we need maybe California Chrome to, to come back to us a little bit. So, uh, like everyone, we'll need a good trip, and uh, hopefully, hopefully we can get a piece of it. And certainly, you've seen all the other horses uh, training this week. Uh, first of all, what's your impression of California Chrome? Well, I mean, the, the bits and pieces of I, I've seen him training here, I think he's doing every bit as well as he was going into the Derby and the Preakness. And, um, you know, I think he's established himself as the fastest three-year-old in this group. So, you know, what we need uh, with hopefully some fresher horses is that he's making his third race in five weeks, and maybe that will that will be to our advantage. And uh, that's one reason they call the Belmont the test of a champion. Uh, sometimes uh, we've seen it before where horses came in and looked like a lock, and uh, they end up not winning the Triple Crown. Yeah, I mean, it's a... Uh, it's a demanding task, and when you're talking about uh, three races uh, as significant as the Derby, the Preakness, and the Belmont run over a five-week period in three different cities, it's, uh, it's a tall order, but uh, that's why uh, when it's done, it, it really means something. He said try to run the races, too. Absolutely. Thank you, and good luck. Thank you.